Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over a brand new strategy with you. It's a strategy that I've actually shared, um, but I want to go over to show you exactly how you can use this. So it's actually a three prompt strategy. Um, in fact, what I'll do, I'll actually import it into the software and then we can see exactly what this strategy does and how you can actually use it yourself. So I'm gonna go over to um, strategies. I'm gonna add a new strategy in here. I'm gonna call it, um, blog data okay you can call it whatever you want guys i really don't have an idea what to call it okay so i'm going to import the strategy in and it's called optimization plan html meta this is what i've called it inside of here okay and it's got three shots in here so it's got three examples to show chat gpt exactly what we want when we give it a keyword okay but what you need to do is after you import this inside of here you need to go over to the second prompt okay so it's actually got two two prompts in here so the very first prompt is this very long one here that's actually got three shots inside of there okay and the second prompt is this prompt here keyword keyword now in this prompt here we need to double click it okay and when we double click it we need to click on new keyword prompt and click on update and then we click on generate short codes and we save these as it is okay and what i'm going to do now oops did that, did that save over or yeah blog data okay so i'm going to go in here i'm going to type in two keywords okay i'm going to type in um bodybuilding and I'll type in something like cleaning, okay? Just randomly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same chat session, okay? So when you're doing multiple keywords at a time using this prompt, then it's important that you have use same chat session enabled. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce the um, delay in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this over. I'm gonna click on start. Okay, and you're gonna see exactly what this is going to do. So, okay, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so anyway, this was our big prompt. Okay, and our keyword was bodybuilding. So let's just wait until it finishes and you'll see exactly what's happening. It look, actually looked pretty strange when it started off then for a moment. I'm not sure why. Um, but anyway, let's have a look. Our next keyword is cleaning. Okay, so it looks a little bit strange down here at the moment. And that's because I've actually taught ChatGPT in them three shots how to give me the data in this table form okay and the reason i do this is because when i import it into the editor it's much more easier to actually understand and go through and, and work with as well um but i'll show you exactly what this does it's really really cool guys okay so i'm going to go over to the editor i'm going to go over to import and i'm going to import it in and what we'll do is we'll start off with a bodybuilding one okay so with bodybuilding what we've what we've got with we gave chat gpt just the one keyword okay and with that one keyword bodybuilding it's given us highly important keywords for the term bodybuilding okay and then it's given us categories that we can put in our blog about bodybuilding so these kind of keywords can fit into these categories and then it's gone ahead and given us blog post titles that we can cover on our blog but that's not all that it's actually given us it's also suggested a website name is also suggested a website meta description and it's suggested meta keywords as well so the name of the website bodybuilding pro so let's just say for example you're going out there to create a brand new website you don't really know what to name it you don't really know the kind of meta descriptions and data you're going to put on there you might want to go out there and put some placeholder posts you can actually go out there and make an entire website skeleton um, using this data down here and of course guys i've i've added this and given this to you so that you can add on to it you know you might want to adjust it and make make it even more different to the way you want it okay so let's have a look at the cleaning keyword now okay so this is the cleaning one so these are keywords related to cleaning okay very highly sought after keywords that are highly re relevant to your main keyword cleaning you've got the categories that are very relevant to cleaning as well and then you've got blog post ideas down here as well guys and then you've got a website name you've got a website meta description and you've got meta and you've got website keywords as well guys okay in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to import that prompt 
Okay, I'm going to import the prompt so we can see how the prompt looks inside of the editor. Okay, so this is the prompt that I'm giving ChatGPT. So there you go. There's that other second prompt there. Everything else wrapped around in the prompt. Okay, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're giving ChatGPT. Okay, so this is what I'm giving ChatGPT. Keyword SEO. And I'm going keywords. Then I've given it all of these keywords. I've given it these categories. I've given it these blog posts. And then I've gone ahead and given it website name, website description, website keywords. And then I've gone ahead and given it a second keyword, bodybuilding. Okay, and this time I've I've continued with exactly the same example. Keywords, categories, blog posts, and then a website name, description, and meta keywords. And then I've given it the third keyword, computer. And then I've given it suggestions, I've given it categories, I've given it blog post titles, and then I've given it a name, a description, and keywords. So what happens now is whatever keyword you give ChatGPT when running this strategy, then you're gonna get the details in exactly the same format, but for that keyword. So as you can see, guys, absolutely brilliant. Play around with this, um, have some fun with it. And just remember, if you're gonna be doing this for multiple keywords at a time, then it's very important to add this check or check this checkbox, do the same as chat session. And you can do this for like 15, 16 keywords, whatever you want, guys. And you're gonna be able to create a skeleton for every single keyword website that you add on here.